In three, two, one. Seven things you probably didn't know, we need to know. I'm Jamie East and this is is the smart seven. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, the 20th of January, and it's Cheese Lovers Day. And a big happy birthday to Buzz Aldrin, David Lynch, Will Young, and Gary Barlow. Seven. It was another tough day at the office with no sign of a party for Boris. Firstly, Tory MP Christian Wakeford from Bury South walked across the floor to join Labour, the first government party MP to depart for the opposition in over 15 years. Labour leader Keir Starmer welcomed him on board. Can I start by warmly welcoming the Honourable Member for Bury South to his new place in the House and to the Parliamentary Labour Party. Mr Speaker, like so many people up and down the country, he has concluded that the Prime Minister and the Conservative Party have shown themselves incapable of offering the leadership and government this country deserves. And then, fired up by the defection, Sakir even managed a zinger, as Speaker Lindsay Hoyle urged the Tory backbenchers to calm down and stop booing. Mr Speaker, I'm see, I see the very noise. I'm sure the Chief Whip has told them to bring their own booze. <laughs> Finally, it was Boris's turn to face questions and almost every single one was relating to the famous Sue Gray inquiry into the Tory party parties. Boris, it seems, only brought one answer, however. It is for the inquiry to to come forward uh, with uh, an explanation of what happened and I'm afraid he simply simply must wait. Eventually, even Tory heavyweight David Davis had had enough. I'll remind him of a quotation altogether too familiar to him of Leo Amory to Neville Chamberlain. You have sat there too long for all the good you have done. In the name of God, go. There were 108,069 new cases of COVID-19 yesterday and 359 additional deaths announced. But apparently, coincidentally, just as Boris needs Tory backbench support, the pandemic is effectively over from January the 26th with a lifting of all restrictions that form Plan B. From the start of Thursday next week, mandatory certification will end. From now on, the government is no longer asking people to work from home. Once regulations lapse... The government will no longer mandate the wearing of face masks anywhere. Health Secretary Sajid Javid was in the big blue briefing room and he says it's now a case of learning to live with COVID-19. We shouldn't see this as the finish line. We cannot eradicate this virus and its future variants. Instead, we must learn to live with COVID in the same way that we've learned to live with flu. President Joe Biden marks one year in office on Thursday and it's been a hell of a year. He's been struggling with poor ratings, the resurgence of COVID-19 with the Omicron wave and consistently negative press around his attempts to pass signature legislation. Oh, and the former guy still spent 12 months whining about a stolen election. He faced the press for a two-hour question and answer session and despite tough questionings, Joe was putting his best foot forward. I didn't overpromise, but I have probably uh, outperformed what anybody thought would happen. The fact of the matter is that uh, we're in a situation where we have made enormous progress. You mentioned the number of deaths from COVID. It was uh, three times that. It's coming down. Everything's changing. It's getting better. Tensions continue to escalate on the Ukrainian border as Russian troops mass for a potential invasion and Moscow issued a list of demands including no NATO membership for Ukraine and a limit on NATO's activities in other countries including Poland. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken is due for talks with Russia in Geneva on Friday but he dropped into Kiev on the way and met with President Zelensky and he was sending a clear message to President Putin. We have uh, tried to make clear that there are two paths for for Russia. Uh, there is the path of diplomacy and dialogue to try to resolve whatever differences there are uh, peacefully through diplomacy. There is also the, uh, the path, if Russia chooses to renew aggression, uh, of, uh, of conf- confrontation and consequences. Still to come on the Smart 7, good news for Gollum as the new Lord of the Rings trailer drops, plus tributes to a fashion icon right after this. Welcome back. There were two games in the Premier League on Wednesday night. Leicester took on Spurs while Man United travelled to Brentford. There was plenty of drama as both United and Spurs staged late comebacks to win away from home, with Spurs beating Leicester 3-2 and United with Rashford back in scoring form, winning 3-1 at Brentford. 
Brentford manager Thomas Frank was still proud of his team and the way they performed. I think the way we played first half, they think we destroyed them. We should have been up at least 2-0. Um, they didn't have a sniff and nothing. We created five, six chances and three huge chances. There can only be one win of this game. A maximum a draw that is served uh, Man United. I think they're unbelievable lucky. Amazon's new Lord of the Rings series finally has a name, The Rings of Power. The first eight episode season's apparently going to cost half a billion dollars. No pressure there then. The new show will delve back into the origin story of the legendary rings, including the rise of Sauron and the story of elves and men. It's due on Amazon Prime in September, and the first teaser trailer just dropped. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the Dwarf Lords, in their halls of stone. Nine for mortal men, doomed to die. One for the Dark Lord, on his dark throne, in the land of Mordor, where the shadows lie. Now that's what I'm talking about. Hey! The death was announced on Wednesday of a fashion legend, Andre Leon Talley, who died at the age of 73. He was a fashion designer and journalist and was creative director of Vogue magazine. Tributes flooded in from stars and designers including Viola Davis, Octavia Spencer, Diane von Furstenberg and many more. Vogue editor Anna Winter described him as magnificent and wickedly funny. Here he is on the Met Gala red carpet, charming Rihanna. Rest in peace, Andre. I know you're going to be fabulous, but let me just say, walk through the museum and just... I can't wait. Drink the moment. Drink it. Thank you this so much. This is rare much. life. You are so inspiring Thank to so you. many people. You're going to inspire people in this dress. They're telling me you've got to go. I love you. This has been The Smart 7. Wherever you're listening, do us a favour and hit the follow button. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 a.m. Have a great day. Written, produced and published by Daft Dogs.